Okay guys, so here's how to make a scratch game that is soccer. Okay, so first you're going to change the stage to whatever you want. I recommend doing this one because it's a goal. Or you can paint your own. I honestly like to see a cool creation. And then you're going to make a variable that says, that's called score. You can move it wherever you want. I don't know, maybe put it up here. <laughs> okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to get a sprite. And you can use anybody. This is going to be the person who kicks the ball. But I'm just going to use the scratch cat for it. So just put them like anywhere in the middle. And then you're going to need a goalie. So that could be anybody. We're just going to use a dog for this. I mean... <laughs> Because dogs don't like cats, so they're trying to not get them to score, right? Makes sense. Um, I'm just... Um, okay, so he's just going to be, like, dodging the ball, you know? Um, I actually don't like that one for this. Um, let's look at another dog. Maybe that's, like, sitting... Let's just do a scratch cat. <laughs> Alright, so after this, all you gotta do is go to one of your cats, doesn't really matter, grab an event block, and then when the start button is click, um, you're going to make the variable, set my variable to zero, set the score. And then the next one you're going to need is, you're going to need one more sprite. <laughs> okay, so the next one you're going to do, you're going to hover over this, and then you're going to click paint. And then you're just going to make it a white square. And you're going to get this square perfectly enough until it is, like, exactly in, like, the goal area right here. Now, see, it's like in the goal, so then you're going to move this one cat so that he's in front. So, he'll be like this. So, and then you're going to add to this, you're going to, uh, to the white black thing, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. When this sprite is clicked, um, you're going to change... We're just going to make this like a challenging game. So we're going to change the score negative 1. Because, I don't know, we're just going to make it so it's just a really challenging game to make, to do. Or, yeah, you know what I mean. But Okay, so this cat is the Goldie. So this is going to be when, wait. Oh, yeah, when I'm, and when it clicks the white block, it's going to get one point. Um, and then when it gets the cat, which when this sprite is clicked, which is the cat, uh, change, um, the score by one. By negative one, sorry. <laughs> I'm, like, so confused today. Okay, and then, basically, when... You're going to do, you're going to make a, okay, so you're going to broadcast a message, um, basically when he makes a thingy, so, uh, when the sprite is clicked, change score by one, and broadcast message goal. So with this goal block, what you're going to do is you're going to next, um, you're going to get another one as this ball, which we're just going to use soccer ball. So, 
So basically, so broadcast goal and then soccer ball is when I receive goal. Uh, go to um. I was over here. Let's be in motion. Uh, it is move. Go to mouse pointer. Sorry. <laughs> so when you're playing, it'll go towards the mouse pointer. And then you don't want it to just stay like here. So basically, you're gonna um. You're gonna wait one second and then you're gonna hide. You're not gonna hide it, sorry. Uh, it's going to go to the cat. Just this cat. So at the beginning of the game, we're gonna play it. So basically, it's going to go towards the cat when the thing button is. Where's. Oh, that doesn't make sense. When this button is played, go towards cat. Why is the cat going around? Okay. <laughs> Made a mistake. So I think we should have the ball like right here. For example. Actually, it's fine if it's just right there. So like that and then and then when it goes to the goalie, we're just stop. we just keep doing that, and we don't want to ma minus a bunch of bajillion points. So when it go when spray is clicked, broadcast message minus one or anything that'll make sure that um that they hit the goalie. So, next, um, you go to here, and then, when I receive, minus one, go towards, cat two. And, every single second, we want, like, the cat to, like, go like this. This keep going this way, so it's not just in one place. And then they could just score a bunch of goals. So I want the cat to be moving around. So in order to do that, we're going to do when this space or when this is clicked. When this button is clicked, um, this is going to be a forever loop. It's going to it's gonna move ten steps, and then it's gonna move ten steps, and then it's gonna. Sorry. It's going to move negative 10 steps. It's going to move 10 steps twice. And then move another 10 steps. And then move negative 10. Negative 10. Negative 10. So starting here. 
And then when this is... Oh, and that makes sense. Because it's going too fast. Okay. It's We're going to wait one second every time. And if you think that's too slow, do like half a second. And it's not really going this way, so I think it needs to keep moving a couple. Negative. And as you can see, it's doing that thing again. So we're going to make it wait. Okay, that seems to work pretty good. My bad, sorry. And now for the last part, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new one that says, you can say whatever you want, but I'm just be any color you want doesn't matter and when I when I receive goal show and then after that after that it's going to wait one second and then it is going to hide and then when the start buttons clicked it's going to hide I don't know what this guy is doing. So yeah, that's how you make a scratch game where it's a soccer so yeah try to win you can do it get a bunch of points bye